Hello, my name is Sharon Fitzpatrick and welcome to my YouTube channel, Lifestyle with Sharon. Today I'm going to be making a lovely succulent chicken breast stuffed with some lovely ham. I'm also going to be making a chicken breast stuffed with ham and some cheese. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up and comment and I'll get back to you. And do share it with your friends on social media. And if you haven't done so already, do subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so it just gives you a gentle reminder of when the video comes out. Enjoy. So you've got your nice piece of chicken. You can turn it upside down and on the fat a bit, kind of at a diagonal, go down the ways a little bit and across the chicken. And then once it's opened a bit, just score a little bit more so you can get a bit deeper in, but don't go all the way through. And go right to the edge. So the whole thing opens up. And then you're gonna open the chicken up as much as you can. Right, so we're just gonna open up some cling film and you place your chicken onto the cling film and then, so you've got plenty of room either side, you can just fold it in half about here and bring it over, cut your cling film and you basically take all your frustrations out on this piece of chicken and bash away at it. Sometimes if, when you're kind of in the middle of your worktop, it'll be easy to trap your fingers on the rolling pin. So perhaps bring it to the edge a little bit. And so when you're hitting, you're not going to hit your fingers on the worktop. Just a little safety tip. So, and then we just take the cling film off. And we'll place this back on your plate. You can see how much bigger that is, so it's much easier to work with. Okay, so I've got some cooked ham here and I'm just going to slice it up. Nice thin slices. Okay, what we want to do is get a bit of olive oil or sesame oil. Just put a tiny bit on, spread it with your fingers and then we want to season it with some salt, some black pepper, I'm going to get some turmeric, some paprika, small amount of tahini or peanut butter and use a second spoon to get it off and then just spread it around on say half of one half. So from the middle and half of that half. Then you want your nice thin slices of ham, maybe three or four bits. Doesn't matter if it all kind of gets broke up. You don't want to overfill it. And then what you want to do is you want to roll. So bring that as centre as you can and roll that chicken over and roll it again. It's not that easy, but do your best. And then what we want to do is season the outside as well. So again, we'll put that tiny drop of oil, bit of salt, bit of black pepper, turmeric and paprika. And because of the oil, it allows you to spread that around so you get a more evenness with your spices. You can turn it over and do the same thing again. Now when you turn it over, if it falls apart, a little trick is to put some cocktail sticks in there and just put your cocktail stick through and that'll keep it in place while it's cooking. So you put your oil. This so allows you to spread your spices around. And plus it takes that dryness out that can happen sometimes when cooking chicken. So your salt, your pepper. Now I've just used the, the turmeric and paprika, but you can do other spices. Cajun spice would actually be quite nice with this. 
You might want to try mixed herbs, try parsley. I'd love to know in the comments what kind of spices you like to put on your chicken. It gives it that beautiful flavour and it gives you the lovely colour. Now this one I'm just going to stuff with a bit of ham. I've done it in a slightly different way. I've cut it on the top rather than underneath just to try it and see what it's like. And I'm going to stuff it with a little bit of ham. And I'm just going to put a very small, you don't need a lot, about a tablespoon of Philadelphia, a cream cheese. And you want to put that inside the centre. And then just do what you did with the last one. And we'll put a bit of olive oil on the top. Spread it around with your fingers. And put any spices you want on there. So I'm just going to put a bit of turmeric along with the salt and pepper and a bit of paprika. And turn it over and do the other side. Oops, <laughs> I got carried away with boring that one. <laughs> Not to worry. So with this one, this is not rolled, so, so onto a hot pan, just add some olive oil and we just want to seal this for about four or five minutes on either side. This is cooking away nicely, we're just going to flip it over, see that beautiful colour, doesn't it look lovely? So now we're just going to place this onto a baking sheet. And we'll put that in the oven. Right, so now we're going to place this into the frying pan for four minutes on each side. Okay, so we'll just turn this over now. So it's just searing each side. It's not going to cook in the middle, and that's why we want to put it in the oven afterwards. But it just gives that um, beautiful colour to the outside of it, as you can see. And it just seals in that lovely flavour. Okay, so I'm just going to lift this up and put it onto the tray to put in the oven. So we've got two different chicken here. And we'll see what they're like when they come out. And what you can do is with the excess juice that you've got from your frying pan, you can just give that a little pour over your chicken. Okay, so you can see this is the one we've done with the ham and the cream cheese in it. And this is the one we did with the tahini and ham. So I'm just going to serve this up with some broccoli, cauliflower and a few carrots. So I'm just going to serve up with a few mashed potatoes. My potato scoop is actually broken, so I'm actually improvising. 